Yagami-san, it's Sugiura. Want to meet up and talk Kachihira? Heard of a place called Koi Bride? Unfortunately, I hate yeah. that place. I don't know this place. <laughs> they won't let me keep the fish. Just gotta have connections. Anyway, I'll see you there. Fun fact about uh, that uh, the location. I actually had a side case that started on the outside of the the Koi Bride, hmm. but because story's happening, I we can't actually do the, <laughs> the side <laughs> case yet. God damn it. Or now. It is unable to progress until, uh... Until we finish up the chapter, basically. Yeah, I was looking to see if it was there, but... I haven't actually gone to do the case yet, so I don't have any of the details. I just know that... There's a case about dismemberment happening here. But it's not happening right now, because Sugiuro wants to meet up here. And we're gonna go meet up with him. <laughs> Here he is. Just, uh, you know, do, doing the, the Koi Bride thing and fishing. Of course. Huh. You got here faster than I thought you would, Yagami-san. Well, how'd it go? Find anything between Kajihira and Kazumi? <laughs> Just a couple of rumors, really. Then <laughs> what's with that grin? Fine. You got me. You know that meeting they had? Turns out, it was about the ADDC. Oh my god, I love that band. <laughs> Um, not ACDC, dude. ADDC. Oh, the knockoff. All right. For yes, years exactly. Now, the Kajihira yeah. group has been secretly planning an absolutely massive redevelopment project. And where were they planning it? This plot of land right here. That's the ADDC. Yep. The area around it, too. To be precise, Kajihira wanted all the land belonging to the Medical Institute, which, as you know, is managed by none other than the Ministry of Health. That explains why Kajihira needed to talk to Minister Kazumi. If they want to go forward with the redevelopment, they'll have to shut the Institute down, including the ADDC. But is getting just one bigwig on board with the project enough? It is in this case. Apparently, Kazumi was already planning to shut the center down. Huh? See, the Institute was created with the goal of addressing Japan's aging population problem. Too many seniors, not enough babies, all that. But for the past 10 years, the money's been going into a black hole. People even call it a tax scam. I mean, they're not wrong. Managed to be honest, I'm not sure how the ADDC types. was supposed to address the population thing. <laughs> so if the Minister of Health says the time's up... Bye-bye, ADDC. Well, we'll Hello, find out later what the, the actual purpose of the ADDC was. But I don't Maybe, think it was... Uh, I, so I, I can't nice reconcile it with the idea that it's supposed to help with, exactly you know, all these old people the and I'm sure young people not having children. A big old bribe, basically. Well, especially since they're like entirely Kajihira different things, right? The center years back to avoid rising like one's prices. about uh, dementia and all that. Not really sure how you're gonna address the low population thing. They're not even trying to hide it. The dementia thing was kind yeah. of a happy accident, but actually. Would have it, it sure. Wasn't meant to be. One day, but I don't think it takes away from the point that, like, <laughs> unless you're gonna start instituting a policy of like having kids and different rewarding people from having kids. All thanks to this guy. Yeah, I, I don't real. I I still cannot reconcile Keto that. His 89 research. Yeah, you don't just shut down a dementia drug that could change the world. So Kazumi started singing 89's praises to anyone who'd listen, and you know how it ends. The ADDC stayed in business, the money kept flowing, the research kept going. Kazumi brushed the whole deal under the rug. And pulled it right out from under Kajihira. Yep. Guy must have lost billions in the process. Wonder what that feels like. I guess he's not too happy with his 89 business. Right. How'd you get all this anyway? I literally asked you today. <laughs> you want to look behind the curtain, huh? What? Nah, it's not that impressive. It was all published online last year. Man, giving me outdated sources, what the hell? <laughs> it was a pretty gripping article, but they couldn't substantiate their claims. 
everyone wrote it off as tabloid nonsense. It's unsourced, too. Right. Hmm. Why? The piece is by Kohatori. I hate Kohatori. Uh, there you, go. you know him? <laughs> yeah, we go back. And apparently he stormed Genda's office today looking for an interview. Huh? What are the Does odds? That mean you can ask him yourself? Hmm. You better get a move on. Uh, I guess I'll have to. Alright, well, I guess we better go, uh, go, go to Gendas and see if, uh, he's still there. Also, this is me re learning that you can just walk through the pond. That's not very sanitary, Yagami. Come on. No, it's not. I don't think there's ever any reason to walk in the pond. Just, you can do it for, if you want to. I like how it's literally like a dead tree, just like a fallen limb. They couldn't even get like an actual anything. Right? And also like, if as soon as you leave, you should get scolded by the guy and be like, hey, you gotta pay up like a fine or whatever. Seriously. Oh, and hey, couldn't you read the sign and then you look over and there's a sign. Tori's still here. <laughs> no, he I, actually- I also really like the though. detail that Yagami's pants oh, yeah? are soaked when he you really step out. Scare him up then, huh? <laughs> More like he couldn't handle salary san staring into his soul. <laughs> Who can? By the way, um... Hmm? Mafuyu? I came to offer condolences for Shintani-sensei. That's not the only reason. Tell Yagami-san straight. Right. Well, this can't be good. Go talk to Mafio. I guess Genda Sensei took the day off today. He must be taking Shintani Sensei's death pretty hard. Something you needed to say? Yes. Well, Izumira wants to take you in, Yakumi kun. For Shintani Sensei's murder. Does he? A detective by the name of Kuroiwa said I was a material witness, too. What is going on, Yagami kun? <sighs> hey, I could ask you the same thing. Just to be sure, you didn't do it, did you? What, help someone get out of a murder so that they could murder their girlfriend? No, that wasn't me. Of course I didn't. How could you even No, ask? no, no. We're talking about uh prosecutor, killing remember? Shintani. Doubting people is my job. You didn't kill Shintani, did you? Like what motive do I have? Do you even have anything to go on? I'm I mean, sure. he was a creep, but I wouldn't They're murder him over that. Purpose, yeah. Everybody knew he's an asshole. Everybody knew he was a creep. So you really don't like me, huh? <laughs> what motive? I don't think they can charge <laughs> you with a murder on the grounds of not liking you, Yakami kun Either way. Finally, someone who sees it my way. <laughs> but if anything comes up, feel free to get in touch. If it's within my power, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks, Ma, for you. Does that include defending me in court if I need a lawyer? See you later. <laughs> Say goodbye. No, you can self-represent. <laughs> Why would you I mean, ever yeah. go to somebody else? You've got a perfect acquittal <laughs> <laughs> rating. I don't think Yagami's acquittal rating is perfect, actually. Shh. Did Sugiura For murderers, it is. <laughs> What's the latest? He did. Apparently, Kajihiro was trying to get Kazumi to close down the ADDC. Wait. What? He wanted to use the center's land for his redevelopment project. But then the AD9 research came out and threw a wrench into things. Kajihiro lost a lot of money. Wait a second. That means he's connected directly to the ADDC. According to Hattori's article, at least. Hattori-san wrote about it? That's why I stopped by. I wanted to ask him about it in person. So, he hangs around when you don't want him, and then when you need him, he's nowhere in sight. <sighs> that guy's the worst, seriously.
Hello? Yagami-san, it's Sugiura. Uh, did a woman just leave that office you hang around in? Hmm? Oh, you must mean Mafuyu. Oh, I didn't know her name. She's pretty, though. Wait, does that mean you've been following me? I I'll tell you later. I'd worry more about all the Yakuza tailing Mafuyu-san. Huh? Yeah, it's like four Yakuza. Maybe more. What should I do? We should do something, right? I'll be right there. Where are you? Head straight to Theater Square once you're down. And be quick about it, yeah? I can't take them all by myself, Yagami-san. Anyways, you heard me, right? Call the cops. <laughs> I'm gonna go help my friend. You coming, Yagami-san? Where are you? I just left Genda's office. How's my for you? Fine for now. But maybe not much longer. Those Yakuza are getting closer by the minute. You've gotta hurry, Yagami-san. She's just about to cross Theater Square. I thought I, I, I thought I could go to Theater Square that way, but no, they're gonna make you go down uh, the street. I'm drawing a blank on what it's called. Just really glad that you made Yagami look like he had no idea where he is in a city he's presumably lived in for a majority of his life. Are you there, Yagami-san? Mafuyu just went left on Theater Avenue. Got it, thanks. She's got even more Yakuza on her tail now. It's way more than four by my count. Are they on her about some Yakuza-related case? What family are they from? I haven't figured that out. Better just to get over to her quick. Well, we should, uh, go help. Eh, uh, should we? Roads closed, pal. You're Yagami, yeah? I don't have time for this. Afraid that's not your call. We've got an appointment with the lady prosecutor, you see. What? You heard me, asshole. Now step the fuck back, or else! I'm really glad they got Samuel L. Jackson to record audio for this game. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Alright, so, uh, we're obviously not gonna be able to get to Mafia without a fight, so. Let's just uh, take care of these guys so we can get over the door real quick. Uh, they don't take too long. One desperate last attempt to grab. Damn it. How can we don't leave? Who are you? And why are you following Mafuyu? <laughs> Don't think we're giving up that easy. Yo, need a hand talk? Kaito-san. I'm kind of bummed you started the party without me, man. I'm raring to go. What the hell? Not a second too late. Mind taking care of these guys? I gotta get after Mafuyu. Mafuyu, Chon? She's not in trouble, is she? Handle it, please. See ya. I get it. You guys are tailing Mafuyu, Chon. I can't exactly let that kind of shit slide, assholes. Ugh, son of a bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, sure. Are you still coming? I don't know what, How's what, for you? what was up with that guy. Is, ugh. Safe. They're just so disappointed they had to fight Kaito. <laughs> like, uh, the B-lister. Got it's it. kind of like Turning two seconds after we beat the now. shit out of him, too. Hurry, okay? <laughs> That's why he's raring to go. He Let's wants to back bring back up back. his victories again. Looks like the Yakuza are onto you. <laughs> huh? All four of them are heading your way. Got it. Keep an eye on Mafuyu for me. All right, another four. I, I see Mr. Miyagi's grandson's here too, I guess. You know, ever since he couldn't catch that pebble from his hand, just everything just took a turn for the worst.
I'm very impressed they could just stop on a dime like that. I'm very disappointed that this person doesn't try to like you know, jump out of the way. It's just like surely if I if I just like take a defensive posture, I'll be fine. I mean, she's wearing heels. Yeah, Jumping you, heels might be a pain in the ass. Yeah, but you don't have to jump very far. Like the attempt is what matters. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Puzzle all these people in the street that are just like, oh, there's the Yakuza, the kidnapping somebody again. I want nothing to do with that. Should we do something? Eh. This is why concealed carry should be legal in Japan. We'll just uh, safely pirouette her over to here. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is very anticlimactic. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was first time I played this. I was kind of expecting him to use her just to like kick them in the face a little bit, but mm. no, just pirouetting and uh, dropping her there to uh, keep her out of the way. And then all these reinforcers just grab her and go. Thankfully, we don't actually have to worry about her past uh, cutscene, so we're free to just go go wild and beat the shit out of these dudes. You know, it's very apropos for you to be, like, inserting explosive mines into people's waistcoats, or their coats, especially considering what's currently on on SGQ. <laughs> I feel like it follows the theme really well. For, for uh, for the record, currently, uh, AGDQ is, uh, having a fallout block. You okay? <sighs> yeah. I think so. Who were they? Not a clue. I'm only here because a friend tipped me off. Kaito's on help too. Don't forget to thank him later. I don't understand though. Why would the Yakuza come after me? Sorry, give me a second. I don't want you to that summer. How's your friend? No. Oh. She's okay, thanks to you, Sakira. Oh, glad to hear it. By the way, I'm tailing that van that tried to nab her. Great. We'll need to figure out where it was going. Right. Hello, Izumita-san. This is Fuji. Oh yeah, Yagami-san. Those Yakuza? Or Kyore? I recognized a few of them from KJR. Why would the Kyore go after Mafuyu? Uh, we might be better off asking them that in person. Think you can head over now? No. I need to make sure Mafuyu gets home safe first. I'll call you later. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Izumita-san says he'll send some officers over for me. Okay, well, I can at least stay till the cops show up. Group, yes? That should hopefully not take too long. Me? Looks like it. As for why... I intend to find out! Reboot! <laughs> <laughs> I think it was probably to get to me. Huh? I got kind of involved with the Kyore clan. That's got to have something to do with this. What are you doing messing with Yakuza? <laughs> Who doesn't in this city? What is it? Yeah, you've got like maybe saw them hit you earlier. five people who don't. Uh, no. I'm going to make sure this never happens again. If I have to kill you myself. <laughs> you can't. That's not safe. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll stay far away from Kamurocho for a while. In fact, maybe you should come with me, Yagami-kun. Lay low for a while. Your carriage awaits. Uh, were you having a moment? Uh, sorry, I always come at the most awkward times. <laughs> 
I, I can come back if you want. <laughs> yeah, do you need, need a minute? Not yet. Why, though? It looks like the killer we're after now somehow connected to the murder three years ago. That would mean... I just want people to realize that it was sunny when we got into yeah. this place. Right before she and was it is four she hours later. Researcher named Shono. <laughs> well, it was, no, it was like <laughs> we sunset. Met, we we met to fill in Mafuyi-chan with a lot of backstory. That's all you have? <laughs> I'm still trying to piece everything together. But I have to keep going until this puzzle is solved. Well, if nothing yeah. else, she cannot serve as our prosecutor, I think. She's probably too up. biased to be that now. It's kind of refreshing, actually. Huh? <laughs> you just look so... alive. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Not like my dead client and his dead girlfriend. Hello? Hey, it's Yaku. Okubo's not dead. <laughs> Where are you? The other one. 